All right, YouTube, let's have a little bit of fun. I got a little time on my hands, so uh, first of all, let me let me get this out the way. This is not an NBA video, okay? Um, these videos are for entertainment purposes only, all right? Um, this is just me having a little bit of fun and stuff like that. So for all you guys that don't want to hear these type of videos, okay, because this is not an NBA video, Please leave now because this is not a basketball or NBA video. All right. Now that I got that out the way, now let me talk about a subject that uh, a lot of people ask me about. I get actually get a lot of inbox messages. I get some comments. I've actually got some text messages about uh, this particular individual. And let's call him uh, the cartoonist. All right. He's been called many things, but I'll, I'll refer to him as the cartoonist. Now, people ask me, NBA Jerry, why are you always taking shots at him and you need to leave him alone? Listen, let me, let me explain myself real quick, as quickly as I can. First of all, when I do these things, I don't try to hurt anybody's um, YouTube channel per se or try to hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. I do this for entertainment purposes only. OK, I'm not trying to be nasty to anybody. I'm just doing this to have fun because I, I really have noticed that I actually watch YouTube and listen to YouTube more than I actually watch regular television, you know, because YouTube is a I've always said, you know, television is the highest form of entertainment. But YouTube to me, man, it's fun. You know, it's a lot of fun. So I like to, uh, you know, have fun on YouTube and stuff like that, and especially for when you know someone on youtube and they listen to your videos or what have you it's fun to say something when you know they they hear it now you know when we first got into this little bickering thing me and uh the cartoon artist or the cartoonist also the half truth was involved with this too he's actually the main culprit of the reason why this guy is uh the cartoonist has changed uh is because we had some disagreements and stuff like that um now actually you know uh, you ever heard the term, be careful what you wish for, you might mess around and get it. You know, I remember when I first used to diss him, when we went we went back and forth, I would tell him, I would basically say, hey, you need to eat a piece of humble pie, and, you know, you're, you're, you're a mean guy, and you're, he's, he, you know, he's kind of a bully. He still is. He's still a pompous and arrogant and stuff like that, but he tries to play it off. But, you know, he used to scream at, you know, little 13-year-old little kids and, you know, swearing at people and talking down on people and cursing at people and stuff like that and i you know i took offense to that and that's what really made me not uh deal with him no more especially when he went off on that little 13 year old boy for basically you know for those of you that don't know he um you know a couple years back a 13 14 year old kid called in and said kobe bryant's the second best player in nba history and the cartoonist just went crazy over that and i just said you know what i'm not gonna associate myself with him well the reason why i say um careful what you wish for you might mess around and get it uh we actually got it i mean this guy has changed his whole style up and it's because of the half truth really half truth basically uh in a nutshell once they started going at it him and um you know the cartoon artist the cartoonist went at it you know he changed his whole thing up you know basically uh what the half truth would do is he'd watch one of the cartoonist videos and then he you know he'd basically respond to his videos so at first the cartoonist would put the video on private and then he would just take it completely down. He would take the video completely down. And he just kept doing that because the half-truth was just on him. He was on him like white on rice, boy. And uh, finally, you know, after putting so many videos on private and taking them completely down, after a while, he just shut his whole channel down, you know. And he'll never admit it. It's the reason, you know, the half-truth is the reason why. But I, I have my, my suspicions that that's why. You know, he'll say other things, but I don't, I don't think that's the the, tr the truth and uh once he did that man we lost a whole lot of good material and that's part of his, the reason i'm making this video um some of my favorite videos from this guy man he took them down and i want to talk about a couple of them all right first of all the videos that he dissed me in those videos were classics man you know he would diss me you know when i <laughs> Well, the first time I uh, disassociated myself with him, he just went crazy and made all these... F oh, my God. These videos were funny as I don't know what. 
and he just went crazy and went off on me. And then he did it. Then when he finally responded to the half truth for the first time, he didn't do it on his own channel. He went on this other guy's channel and basically said, uh, you know, he was basically saying that LeBron James is way better than Kobe Bryant. And he was telling the half truth, hey, man, look, you don't think this, that look into my eyes, you a B-I-T-C-H. And he just, you know, it was it was it was hilarious, man. You know, the way this guy was making these videos. And then also, you know, for those of you who don't know, and, I, and I'm telling you this, I'm all this stuff I'm getting ready to tell you, I couldn't make it up if I tried. All right. Now, remember, the cartoonist claims to be a, a, a diehard Chicago Bulls fan, diehard Bulls fan. You know, he hates the heat. He don't like LeBron and he don't have a problem with Kobe. And this is what he says. And this is why people mess with him, you know, because he's he's basically a hypocrite. He, he puts his foot in the mouth. But basically, the videos that I miss uh, the most, you know, when I was a LeBron fan is his LeBron James videos. Uh, what he would do was after every, and I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up, after every Cleveland Cavalier game, he would take the footage and edit every single shot LeBron James made, every assist, every rebound, every block shot, every steal, any kind of highlight, and any kind of highlight that the commentator or any good thing the commentator would say about LeBron James, he would put that into a, uh, this is when YouTube had 10-minute clips, you know, in a 10-minute clip, and he would do it after every Cleveland Cavalier game, and, I'm, and I am not making this up or exaggerating, he did that. Now, he'll say his reasons why he did that, but everybody knows why he did it, because he likes LeBron James. You know, you wouldn't do that for a player that you didn't like or a player that you didn't care about if you're a diehard Bulls fan. But, you know, I miss those videos, you know, because I was, you know, I'm still a big LeBron fan, but I was a bigger fan then. And I used to watch all those videos. I miss, I really miss those videos. Also, uh, when he took down his old channel, he had a real good uh, video uh, <laughs> when he was telling people to... Um, he basically he was basically trying to trick people into saying that LeBron James is a choker, and I think the video was called LeBron James was a, was a choker. Now he explained to me that he didn't wear uh, a monster costume. He basically some some monster was on the on the screen, and it was you know looked like a it was around Halloween time, and it was a monster. Basically, you know, with his voice, you know, the screen was all messing up, and the voice was, oh look at he's oh LeBron James. Is LeBron James a choker. LeBron haters are gonna love this video. He's a choker and all this scare. I said, man, what in the hell? I mean, man, that was a classic, man. And it said, click on this link. You'll, you know, he's basically making you think that he's gonna diss LeBron, and of course he didn't. The whole article was him just praising LeBron James and bring, you know, giving him, you know, saying a bunch of stats and how great LeBron James was. You know, he basically wrote articles upon articles about LeBron James. Also, I miss his little rants on Skip Bayless. You know, I think he he still does them, but not like he used to. He's basically called Skip Bayless everything under the sun. First, he called Skip Bayless a racist. You know, he came out and said Skip Bayless a racist. And that's another reason why we fell out because I didn't like the fact that he called that man a racist without any facts or proofs. Because that's his whole thing. Hey, look at the facts, folks. That's what he always says. Look at the facts. But he had no facts at all except for that stupid Blake Griffin video or Blake Griffin thing. Basically, somebody said, you know, Blake Griffin. Uh, you know, remember when Skip Bayless said Blake Griffin uh, is a great player, and I'm proud that he's half white. That's that's only, you know, evidence he had. And you know, he called Skip Bayless a racist. Then he basically came out and said him and Nancy Grace, Skip Bayless and Nancy Grace, are devil are the devils or devil worshippers or spawn of Satan or something. And Corey just went off on him about that, but he, you know, he was funny. It was a funny video about that. And he's just basically went off on Skip Bayless on numerous occasions. And, and everybody knows why he went off on Skip Bayless. And he have nothing to do with nothing else but the fact that Skip Bayless is the, well, probably the number two LeBron hater now. But back then, he was the number one LeBron hater. And, you know, the cartoonist loves LeBron James. So that's why he didn't like Skip Bayless. Also, uh, he made a video back in 2010. When this is, you know, remember this guy doesn't like LeBron now, he says, and Chicago is his favorite team. Uh, the Chicago Bulls had b lost to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the, in the same season in the playoffs. And this is after game, I believe it was game five when, you know, LeBron quit and laid an egg and had one of his worst playoff performances ever. And he basically quit on the team and uh, the cartoonist went up there and, and, and gave the Cleveland Cavaliers a pep talk to win the game. 
game six. And he was, you know, trying to, he, he got me going. He had me, you know, excited and stuff. He was giving him a hell of a pep talk. You know, he was saying this and saying that. And he was mad, boy. You know, he's mad about Mike Brown. And he was mad that LeBron didn't play good. And, and then he, he had some shirt underneath his other shirt. And he took it off and it read, it said something on it. I forgot. He was basically mad about Cleveland losing. He was trying to pep up Cleveland because he wanted Cleveland to win, even though he's a Bulls fan. Um, that was a that was a classic, and of course, when you know the truth or the half truth called him out on it, he took it. You know, he put it on private, took it down. Also, uh, you know, when LeBron James won the championship, now this was in on this new channel, but he took that one down too because the half truth called him out on it. You know, because see, the the cartoon is basically his whole mantra is basically he loves stats and stuff like that, and he always says championships are a team accomplishment; they're not individual awards uh the team has to win a championship which i agree with uh, but not to his extent but he's trying to turn it on an angle he used to use that when lebron didn't win any championships and kobe had five so basically in this in this video he had on this channel uh when lebron won the championship oh my goodness he just he just had a love fest for lebron james like a 40 something minute love fest when lebron won the championship in 2012 he just basically just called him a leader. He's a champion. And, uh, of course, a bunch of stats. And he was just praising the man to no end. And I didn't hear not one time him say, championships are a team accomplishment. If I didn't know any better, LeBron just beat Kevin Durant one-on-one. -on -one. That's how it sounded to me. So that was, you know, that's the video I missed. Uh, also, uh, you know, like I said, man, videos when he just goes off on people, like when he went off on a 13-year-old little boy and going crazy and all that stuff. I miss those videos when his face is all red and stuff like that. Also, uh, he had a video. This this might still be up on YouTube somewhere. But he basically, uh, when Kobe Bryant scored 81 points, he broke down Kobe's every single shot. Now, remember, now keep in mind, he doesn't have a problem with Kobe, according to the cartoonist, but... Every single shot that Kobe made in the 81-point game, he broke it down. And basically, in a nutshell, he's basically dissing Toronto, saying Toronto's a 29th-ranked defense. They're not a good defensive team. This is why he scored 81. Look at the space on the shot. They weren't playing defense, the referees, and all this old, you know, other garbage. He's basically, um, you know, dissing Kobe Bryant's uh, 81 points, basically saying it wasn't that impressive and all that. You know, I don't care. Who you are, man. I don't care if you're playing against whoever. Scoring 81 points is a impressive feat to me. But, of course, you know, this is why we call him Kobe, a Kobe hater. And on a side note, I went on Google Image, Google Images and typed in Kobe hater. And guess whose pictures I saw up there? Take a wild guess. You don't believe me? Go to Google, go to Google Images, type in Kobe, Kobe hater. And I think, like, from the 6th, 7th, 8th row down, you'll see a couple of pictures of... uh. <laughs> the cartoonist so you know hey also a video that i miss you know vi type of videos i miss from him are uh <laughs> he made i think it was in 2011 he made a video basically it was a clipboard video he's acting like a coach and he was calling eric spolstra eric slostra and he was mad at eric slostra for basically uh, and he did the same thing with mike brown Basically saying, oh, the Heat are running the Archangel offense. He said that again with Cleveland, too. And he didn't like the fact how, you know, Eric Slostra, he said, was running the offense for the Heat. You know, you're not using LeBron right. You're not using Dwayne Wade right. And he was giving them all kind of secrets and tips. And I guess he knows more than them, I guess. And he was showing them uh, how to run the offense. And I guess when they started it, I guess do the things that he was saying he was basically saying, hey i'm not taking trying to take credit for it but i think you know they might have listened and all the other garbage but remember he don't like he hates the heat he don't like lebron and he's a bulls fan you know so why would you make a video you know trying to show the heat how to win <laughs> that that doesn't make any sense but anyways uh you know I, I miss the hypocritical videos when he puts his foot in his mouth basically and he tries to act like he's not a LeBron fan. And that, and that's the one thing I just don't understand about the guy, man. Like, it, it, it doesn't matter who you like or who you don't like. That's not the problem. The problem is your actions say one thing and your words say another. I mean, if, you like, if you're a Chicago Bulls fan and you like LeBron James, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you say that, that's like blasphemous. He gets all crazy and gets all mad. I remember one time I heard somebody say, hey, man. You know, something about LeBron James. Hey, man, I'm not, you know, I don't like LeBron. Don't be coming over here. And 
he just he be going crazy about LeBron James. But anyways, um, you know, he makes videos like that. And then one of my favorite videos, man. Oh my goodness. This is when Derrick Rose won the um won the MVP. And I remember I made a video and he you could look look at the uh but the comments, he made a comment basically saying, oh, NBA Jerry, you're the man for telling the truth about this. He'll probably take it down, of course, as I'm as I uh, as you listen to this, because he always if you mention something that he does, he'll take it down because he's a you know, he's like that. But basically, uh, during during the uh, Derrick Rose's uh, MVP run, NBA TV, uh, ESPN, all the networks were basically hyping him up. It was a hyper bowl for Derrick Rose. And I agree with that. Because to me, LeBron James should have won that MVP, but he didn't. Derrick Rose did for two reasons. One, they hyped up Derrick Rose. And two, because LeBron James you know, did the, did the decision and a lot of people didn't like him then. Um, but basically, during that run, when Derrick Rose won the MVP, he was, he was mad about that. Now remember, this is a Chicago Bulls diehard fan here. This is what he says. He was mad as hell. He was so mad that they were comparing Derrick Rose to Michael Jordan's work ethic and all that. He went off about that. He made a video. This was one of the funniest videos you will ever see. And, folks, I am not making this up. He made a video. Basically, you remember how you know some documentaries are, are basically saying that George Bush and all those guys are conspiracy theorists. And uh, you know how many times. I, th I think it was in um, Loose Change or something like that, one of the videos. And it said, uh, and George Bush says, humble. I mean, no, I'm sorry. He says, terrorist, terrorist, terrorist. And he kept saying terrorist. And they kept showing him cut in, saying terrorist, terrorist, terrorist so much. Basically trying to make us seem like there's more terrorist than there is. Well, what he did is he compared that to ESPN calling Derrick Rose humble. When Derrick Rose, you know, they kept saying Derrick Rose humble, 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 humble. And he would flip over and show George Bush saying terrorist, 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 humble, humble. <laughs> Man, that was one of the fun. I said, man, this dude is a sports lunatic. How can you make a comparison but that? But, hey, that's him, and that's what he did, and that was one of the funniest videos you will ever see, man. And there's many more that I missed from this guy, and I wish he'd you know, put him back up. And some videos that I like now, actually, that are on his channel. Uh, for one of them is this, one he, he he claims that ESPN is basically Disney. And basically ESPN's a propaganda machine and they're a bunch of actors. And basically what he's saying is that ESPN is all scripted. Everything is scripted and you can't say this and you can't say that unless the network tells you to do. And they're, I guess they pass along scripts. And he had the smoking. He was going crazy in this video. I got the smoking gun. I told you guys it was all scripted. And he was getting all. I can imagine his face all red and his veins popping out of his head. And uh, he used some, I don't know, I guess some Chicago, somebody, a football player or somebody was saying that, uh, you know, when he went to ESPN, that, 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 you know, some of the stuff was, you couldn't say certain things and that, that and the third. And it wasn't really that much of evidence. He just. You know, when he thinks he's right on something, he gets any little thing on, he'll just run with it. Also, uh, the video I like, <laughs> and this is a recent one. When Kobe, uh, during the season, Kobe had back-to-back 14 assist games. And a lot of people were coming to his channel basically hating on Kobe, which is the normal spot to do it because, you know, if, if he's the number one Kobe hater, of course they're going to come to him. And he made a video, oh boy, he should have got an Oscar nominee for this. He basically said, I won't be a part of this. If Kobe, if Kobe's playing the right way, I am not going to be dissing him. He's playing the right way and da 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 and, you know, and, and you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of somebody like, I don't know, let's just say some terrorist or some somebody, a bad guy trying to overthrow the government. And he's getting everybody, you know, gathering everybody up and he's the leader of, you know, overthrowing the government. And then right when they get up to the door to the White House or the or the Pentagon or something and everybody's going crazy, he turns around and says, hey, wait a minute, guys, I'm, I don't want to be a part of this. What are you guys doing? You know, they're doing the right thing and they passed this law and, you know, you the leader of the Kobe haters. So when people hate on Kobe and they come to you, why do you think they come to you? That's Kobe hate central. So of course they're going to come to you, but you turn around and try to act like you're not a Kobe hater, which is funny. Also, uh, the video where he basically disses Kobe's 30,000 point game. You know, he just went on in on him and basically saying he's a shot jacker and this, that, and the third. And making videos, all kind of diss videos about Kobe. Oh, Kobe's, you know, passes with Michael Jordan, all-time leader and missed shots. Oh, this, oh, that. 
And then also one of my favorites is his first video on his channel. Oh my gosh, you talking about hilarious, man. Oh boy, this guy just thought he was the man. Now mind you, this is the second time he's done a quote-unquote comeback video. He basically his return to YouTube, which he was only gone for two or three days or maybe a week at the longest. And he just does it for attention because he, you know, I guess he needs some attention or something. I'm going to get into that in a minute. But basically what <laughs> he did, you can look at it, is his very first video. I hope he doesn't take it down. I might be bite my own tongue here but basically in the video he's got a yellow hoodie on <laughs> i don't know if he's in his living room i don't know where he's at but he he tried to you know he's trying to get a reaction out of people of course and stuff like that and you know he's got a hood over his face and he's talking and he's dis you know the, the, the screen goes black and he's over here one minute then he's over there <laughs> and his look on his face was hilarious and i see the picture on google with him and he looked just like one of the dudes from family guy it was hilarious but the reason why I say I think this guy needs attention, man, because just the way he acts, man. I mean, look at his comments. You know, you look under his videos. There's there's no bad comments under his videos. They're all basically people agreeing with him and praising him and stuff like that. And also people have been telling me that on his Twitter account, if somebody praises him or says something good about him, he'll basically retweet it. You know, and I and one of uh, somebody told me that um, he retweeted. Somebody said, I guess somebody said, and I'm paraphrasing. They said, oh, my gosh, you know, the cartoonist is following me on Twitter. Oh, my gosh, something, something, something. He retweeted that. I mean, <laughs> you know, who does that, man? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, like I said, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Leave in the comment section some of your favorite videos from the cartoonist and also uh, your thoughts on this whole thing with him and the half-truth. You know, because the half-truth basically treated him like 50 Cent did Ja Rule. You know, he changed his whole career up, career up, man. You know what I'm saying? He changed his whole style up. So what I'm asking of the um, of the cartoonist is, hey, man, I heard you had some kind of paid subscription to your website. And me and the Half Truth were talking about this the other day. I said, look here, man. And I'm going to tell you like this, uh, the cartoon artist, the cartoonist. If you put up all those videos I just named, plus all the other ones that you go crazy on, if you put that on your paid subscription, man, I swear... To God, I will be your number one customer. I will be first in line to sign up and be a member or subscriber or whatever because those videos are funny as heck. If you put all those LeBron James videos up, you know, when you basically praising them and, and uh, you know, talk on a leader and champion, dissing Kobe, uh, you know, dissing, you know, all the diss videos you made of me and the half the truth, half truth, and also, um, you know, all the LeBron James videos, you basically cutting and pasting all his uh, good stuff and his highlights and stuff. Hey, if you get that stuff in, count me in, man. And I, I make this video because, I, you know, he, he's real sensitive. And, you know, when he doesn't like somebody, he'll block them. You know, I get people all the time telling me stories about how he blocks them and stuff like that. And it'll be for stupid stuff, you know. And he's blocked me. So I have to talk to him through this because I can't send him a message or anything because he blocked me. And I know he watches my videos. And also, um, you know, I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes on his videos. And if you notice, if I diss him or, you know, say something about him, I'll get a lot of dislikes. Let me explain to you where those dislikes come from. First of all, he has many accounts. He has this account. He's got his LeBron channel account, his Kobe channel account, Derrick Rose, Michael Jordan account. He's got all kind of different YouTube accounts. So what he does is, you know, and then he's got some flunkies. Now, the Half Truth calls them minions. I call them flunkies. And the reason I call them flunkies is basically they follow him blindly uh, and they do whatever he says. Because he needs, he needs people that, that praise him and he needs yes men around him. He can't have anybody that disagrees with him. You know, he's very sensitive and he's not going to have anybody around him that disagrees with his main points of what he's saying so basically where the dislikes come in because they all come in within a five to ten minute or fifteen minute window all, all the dislikes on any kind of video i make or any kind of comment that goes against what i'm saying in the video comes from is all his accounts and all his yes men flunkies and uh and lackeys that's where that comes from so like i said folks in the comment section uh you know you're free to leave any comments you want on my channel uh, let me know what you think about the cartoonist videos. What's your favorite uh, video from him? Any stories you got about him? You know, because we're just trying to have some fun here. And let me know what you guys think about the whole, you know, the half-truth, uh, you know, dissing him and stuff like that. And this whole little circle of, you know, everybody dissing each other and just having fun. Because remember, folks, it's YouTube. It's for entertainment. It's for fun. And we're all just uh, here to have a good time. All right? Thanks, guys.